Hi, this is the uh, video tutorial on how to assemble the Magic Mirror Kit. So you're going to have your Arduino. This is the shield that's going to go on top of the Arduino. Your 40 pin header. We're going to break this up in a second. It's the RJ45 jacks, DB9. I got five 10K resistors, four 220 ohm resistors, and one potentiometer. So we can start with the 40 pin header. So basically we're going to take this and we're going to cut it up into four pieces. Two pieces of eight and two pieces of six. So you're just want, going to want to count off. Make the first cut. Okay, and then you can just double check your work by popping it in to the Arduino. So that's the first set of, of eight. Now I need eight more. Okay. So, looks like we did that part right. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna make the solder of the header pin. So the best way to do it is just pop them all into the Arduino and then take your board and just set it right on top. Okay, so now I've set the board on top of there and then I have the pins kind of sticking out a little bit and then I'm just gonna solder. If you have one of these pan devices, it makes your life a lot easier. If you don't, you can still do it, it's just a little harder. And you hear the sound of that fan? That is a, um, soldering fan which is nice because it takes the fumes away so you don't have to breathe them in. Then it's always a good idea to wear safety goggles. And now let's just solder away here. When you're done, you can just pop this off. And we're done with the Arduino, so you can just set that aside. And then we're, we're gonna finish up with the shield here. It doesn't really matter which order you solder everything in. So what you may wanna do is just the ones that snap on do those first. So we can snap on the DB9 connector, which I just did right there. And we can also snap on the RJ45 connectors. Now, you should follow the convention from the manual. So the white or metallic connector is gonna go on cable one, and the, brown, the black is gonna go on cable two. So it's best to follow that convention so when you read the manual you don't get mixed up. So let's pop in the black one, like so. Just line them up and then you gotta push down a little bit. That looks pretty good. Now we just need to solder. So let's flip it over. And uh, let's do a quick visual, but looks pretty good to me. Okay. And so now I guess would be a good time to do the resistors. 
So with the resistors, you want to bend them first. And if you have a tool like this, it helps. It's basically just round nose pliers. And um, here's your resistor. This makes a nice bend. If you don't, you can bend them by hand. That works too. Of the 10Ks and four of the 220s. So let's pop the 220s in first. So just take this guy and just squeeze it in. And <clears throat> when you do this, it just looks a little neater if you orientate the color bands on the resistors to be in the same direction. You don't have to, it actually doesn't matter, but it just looks a little cleaner. So I would recommend that. And now the 10Ks. So there we go. Now what you can do, because we're going to actually flip this over and solder, but when I flip it over, the things are going to come out of place. So what I can do, just kind of set this like this, is get some painter's tape, like so. And it's just a little trick. I can just tape them on. That way, when I flip it over, they're not going to um, get out of position. So just a little trick. So now I flipped it over, and they're still, um, still in place. And then now I can solder. Again, put back on your safety goggles here and just clip off the leads. And very important to put in your safety goggles because these can fly off and poke you right in the eye if you're not careful. So. Take off your tape. And um, that's actually not bad because you can see they're all still nice in place. So now we're pretty close to being done. Just got a couple more things to do. One is the slide switch right there. One is this power guy. So let's take that off. And there's only one last piece to do which is the potentiometer, or some people will just call it pot for short. That's this guy right here. This is actually what's used to change the magic mirror character. And um, you can use this one. This one's a little tricky because you see it's not that kind of flips over like that. So this one we're gonna have to do a little better tape job. Let's do that right now. And this you can use um, as is. Basically, that's what this switch does. So if you flip the switch to the bottom, you can mount an external one of these guys and you can change the character kind of remotely. So you're not tied to this. Um, but if you don't want to do that, just flip it up and then you change the character from this. And you can put a little knob on the end of it, whatever you want to do. So. So there you have it. That is an assembled um, magic mirror kit. Um, I call this the magic mirror sensor hub because that's where all the sensors go into.